Hey, welcome back. We see them every year from the Sparkle City, Denise and Eric Patton of Wild Birds Unlimited, Spartanburg, and you brought some stuff. We're going to take care of our bird friends, aren't we? Yes, yes we, we are. are. And why not start at Christmas time? Absolutely. Uh, what'd you bring? Well, we brought just a, a, a variety of things that you can find in the store, and this is just um, a, a limited a little, amount a, a limited, of them. Limited <laughs> amount, yes. So, um, yeah, we have we try to have things for all the nature lovers mm -hmm. and um, things for in the house as well as in your backyard, and we always are there to help answer any questions that anyone has about how to attract birds to their backyard. Well, it's funny because you think just, well, let me just throw some old food out. You know, I didn't finish all the bread. I'll throw that out <laughs> yeah, and the birds will come. But it's, that could one, be bad for them. We right. learned that yeah. one time in the show. There's yes. other things, if you want hummingbirds, you need this. Or if right. you want, yeah. Are there things you shouldn't throw out? I'm just, let's ask that first. Are well, you shouldn't have? good quality food is the, the best. Yeah. Um, you need to make sure that you're not putting out any food that's that's moldy or old. Or fried. Fried. No onion rings. No onion rings. Okay. Right. <laughs> so you want, like for hummingbirds, you do not want to use the red dye in your um, really? in in your nectar. Yes, you want that to be a clear. Mm -hmm. um, that is a man-made myth, but the red dye is also very bad for the hummingbirds. Oh. So it gives them um, organ damage. So you want to make sure. Oh, you we don't want to do that. You, no, I don't no. Know. So like feeding a grape to a cat or a dog. They just sort of things you don't do for birds. That's right. But that's how right. do you keep the squirrels away? Oh, oh. oh. well, Eric can well, help that's you with where that. That's where he comes in. He's <laughs> like, oh, I'm your man. I'm your well, man. Well, we have we have very good squirrel deterrent food. Okay. We, we have hot pepper food that's infused <laughs> with hot pepper. Uh-huh. Now, this is called Fiery Feast. It's, it's our no-mess blend that's infused with the hot pepper. The squirrels and the raccoons and the chipmunks, they, they have the taste buds to detect the hot pepper, but the birds do not. Oh, so the wondering. birds eat the seed, get all the benefit from the seed without the hot fire. Ah. So we have, we have that in, to keep the squirrels deterred, and we also have other food to deter squirrels. It's called safflower because the bird, the uh, squirrels find that bitter to them. Isn't that funny? I can see them going, I'm like, oh, this is too spicy. Yes. We got spicy. Oh, yeah. abort, and abort. Rob, we've heard funny stories, customers coming in and saying how <laughs> they've tried the fiery feast and squirrels are trying to get like it off looking their for mouth water or something. And, yeah. and going to yeah. the bird baths. Now the, so. now the squirrels may eat this if they're in dire strait or in their knee. Yeah. Oh, they're real hungry. hungry. Really yeah. hungry, so, but they'll, they'll Go well, hopefully after. their memory is long term. Yes. Not come back. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. So that's good. And you want to, it's an, um, not adding cayenne pepper does not work because it doesn't coat the seeds. Ah. So I know a lot of people ask yeah. about that. Well, like, what is that? Our own cayenne pepper. Just, they just to eat around it. They'll just pull the seed smart. out. Yeah, they're, they're, they're they are. Unfortunately, smart. they they are. They're very smart little little. But creatures. are there certain feeders that might keep squirrels away? Yes, yes there are. So we have a feeder called the Eliminator, and I think <laughs> it's over on that other <laughs> corner. Does it have anything to do with electrical shock? <laughs> we don't want to kill the squirrels. Uh, no. <laughs> it's over on the other side. It just it's based on weight. And Eric's going to pick it up here real quick. And oh. as you um, push it down, the yeah. squirrels, it, you'll see it block off so that oh, the squirrels... they're too heavy for They're it to too heavy. Oh you can God. adjust this one so that even if you don't want your larger birds, like your blackbirds, your crackles, you don't want yeah. them to also be eating you out of house and home, that they will... It'll it just take push anything them. to do. Mm -hmm. No. So it comes with instructions with how the average weight of birds that you may want to feed, and then you can adjust that accordingly. Yeah. Isn't that so, so neat? Yes. Are there so. certain spots, too, that you want to hang these up or, or put these? Yes, um, there is. So if you're trying to avoid the squirrels, and you can put your feeder in the center of your yard or somewhere where squirrels can jump um, vertically, seven to 10 feet, horizontally, or Five feet. Am I doing it backwards? backwards yeah. yeah. I'm backwards. Oh, I know. Y'all can tell y'all been together. They can together jump for... five feet up. Thank you. And horizontally, <laughs> seven to ten feet. So if they're on a tree limb or the front of your or your house, they can just jump right over, jump right over. Wow. a baffle or anything Isn't that, that crazy? you They're might They're like, have. oh, you're making this challenging so, for me. Right. Okay. So then that's when you would go to your food if you can't get it in a, the exact location that a squirrel yeah. can get I, to I've been, We've been into hummingbirds so much because, you know, we finally got a little feeder and, yes. and put that, and they keep coming back. It's amazing they how. Do. They do. They'll come back to the same yard every year. Yes, because yeah. we ran out of food for like a month, and I'm like, oh, we've lost them, but they, they came back. They, came back. Yeah, they, they are will. smarter than we think. We, the they term are. bird brain really is not 
doesn't mean anything bad. No. They are smart. They're, they're smart. We've, we've eaten these mealworms. <laughs> we have. It definitely makes TV. you oh, happy. Yes. Yeah, I see you have them with the birds. That is your bluebird's favorite food. Really? Yes. So oh, if nice. you're looking to attract bluebirds, get some mealworms, then especially in the spring when they're um, nesting. And you got a new kind of fancy condo here? Yeah, talk about yes. this. This is beautiful. So that is, you would call it a tray feeder, and um, you put the food right in the center and the birds will fly in. Mm -hmm. And that particular Aww. one that's um, got the cedar, the hand done cedar roof there so that that's a, a good long yeah. lasting feeder it will last a long time in the yard where, where are y'all located so we are located on main street in spartanburg um, at the fresh market shopping center and okay. if you know gearhart's restaurant sure. we're three oh, yeah. doors down from gearhart's so we would love okay. to see everyone everyone come by stop by ask any questions you have and also Mention that you saw us on your Carolina, and you'll get 20% oh, off. Well, that's that's nice. so nice of you. Thank, Thank you. you for doing that. That's, oh, that's we're great. happy to. You know, happy people Christmas. will love getting these as a gift. So go mm -hmm. by, and they can answer all kind of questions for you. Denise and Erica, so nice to see you all again. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for this beautiful display. Merry Christmas. Yes.